Good morning. Today you'll be caring for residents in rooms 101 through 106, focusing on their nutrition and overall condition. Starting with room 101, we have Alejandro Hernandez. Alejandro has been struggling with edema and may find it difficult to move and breathe comfortably. It is essential to provide care that accommodates his comfort and current physical condition while also keeping a close eye on his overall health status. Moving on to room 102, we have Chen Shulin. Chen's health has been delicate and she can often struggle with respiratory issues. Please be mindful of this while assisting with her nutritional intake and don't hesitate to seek help if her breathing becomes labored or worsens. In room 103, Carolyn Smith likes to stay active. She values her independence and mobility, but we also need to ensure her safety. While respecting her desire to move around, you should also keep an eye on her to prevent any accidents. In room 104, we have Dakota Thunderhawk. He has a weakness on his left side, which is exacerbated by the fact that he is left-handed. While assisting with feeding, consider his limitations and make his meal time as comfortable as possible. Do take note of any changes in his ability to swallow which can potentially indicate serious issues. In room 105, Don Myers is our resident who receives his nutrition via a peg tube. It is crucial to be meticulous about the tube feeding procedures and precautions and to closely monitor for any physical changes or discomfort. Lastly, Marion Johnson in room 106 is learning how to manage her carbohydrate intake. She will need your support and guidance through this process. Monitor her closely for any abrupt changes in her mood or cognition. Remember, every resident has unique needs and preferences. Your goal is to provide appropriate assistance while respecting their individual concerns. Immediate reporting of any noticeable changes in their conditions is essential for their well-being. Let's strive to offer our best care today.